Bob Vavra of CFE Media here with uh, Eric Nevis of uh, Yaskawa and their card playing robot. Well, we just drew 19 on their blackjack table here, and blackjack's uh, a great way of showing the robotics involved, but what are the practical examples and, and the uses in, uh, in a manufacturing environment? Yes, there's lots of applications in today's manufacturing uh, on the factory floor that have not been addressed because the technology has only been single arm. Okay, there's lots of applications in assembly, kitting, logistics that are naturally two-armed operations. Um, and until the introduction of the dual arm robot, those were just outside the scope of the, uh, the robot industry's ability to deal with. And we, we seem to be doing very well with this. And what Talk about some of the, uh, the applications that your customers have come back to you and asked about how and, and in what ways uh, Yaskawa and Motorman can uh, be effective for them. Yeah, so the dual arm robot uh, can be used uh, effectively in machine tending. You know, machine tending, if you have multiple operations inside the machine, uh, has historically been pull the part out, set it down on a regrip stand, pick it back up, and move it back into the machine. Well, all of this is wasted motion. In Toyota speak, it would just not fly, right? So uh, what we want to do is maximize the chip time. So to have two hands working in the machine simultaneously improves your chip to chip time. And when the, uh, the robot gets bored, he can wait for the, uh, for the next task to come along. It's, it's been a fascinating technology, and I know you've gotten a tremendous amount of uh, visibility out of this, but uh, it, it's also seemed to have a, uh, a great application, and you've had a chance to explain during the show what that larger application is. How's the show been so far? The show's been very good, and this, this demo, while whimsical, actually has a lot of technology behind it. You know, one of the fundamental technologies uh, in robotics today is machine vision. So we're actually using machine vision to count the cards. The algorithm for a blackjack, uh, uh, for the blackjack game is actually encoded in our robot controller. So we're showing the power uh, in robot control. And this sort of articulation requires some sophisticated actuation uh, in the arms. So there's a lot of neat things going on. And you know the automation worked when people stop paying attention to the robot. Yes. You know when it works when it just becomes a blackjack game.